Kimar Roach into his fourth over. He's bowled very well. Four overs, well, 3.1 overs, four runs only coming off his bowling. He's come back with some decent form in this limited overs leg of the series. He's had a, a difficult, or had a difficult 2011 where his form eluded him for the most part. Bowled well in the first one, the international, got two for 33. Knocked him over, kept low, bang on target. Well, if you're the West Indies, you rejoice at that, but you also have a little bit of trepidation about it keeping low when you have to bat later on. Well, just how short is this? David Warner likes to play back the good length ball so he can hit the ball square on the offside. That's uh, a good length, maybe just touch short of the length. It does scuttle through low and Warner's caught on the back foot. And just as we're saying, Kimo Roach is in good form. He strikes, David Warner goes. And Australia lose their first wicket, they're 19 for one. Roach continues his good work. The batsman. Let's just have a look at the Warner dismissal. I think on reflection, David may have been playing forward. It's a big call, Jeff. I think that is kept remarkably low. If you pitch there and then you hit less than halfway up the stump. I think if you played forward to that, I would argue with you, and I very rarely do that, then it'll probably be hitting above the shoulder of the bat, bouncing normally. Certainly from Kim Roach's point of view, he needs to bear that length in mind. No. And that's a difficulty. and that has been caught well by Darren Sammy. Roach strikes twice in the over. Well, this is definitely a much fuller delivery, but the new batsman is caught playing more across the crease than forward. Hits the seam, just darts away enough, and the length is perfect. The edge flies low. And always the new batsman's nightmare to get one in the right area. 